Today's breakfast is mainly a creamy and freeing tantan soup. The dishes using sweet potatoes and new ways to use tomatoes will also be presented. The season of delicious sweet potatoes has come again this year. Today we will use these sweet potatoes to make mixed rice and side dish. For those to be added to rice, cut into cubes. And for the side dish, cut into stripes. In Japan, many sweets made from sweet potatoes are sold during this season. I tend to buy a lot of sweet potato sweets when I think they are only sold now during the year. So I need to diet now. Can you guys buy sweet potatoes at your local supermarket? I hope you will try this recipe. First dish I make here is sweet potato mixed rice. Wash rice well and add the required amount of water. This is one gob rice, 150 gram. Remove one tablespoon of water from here. This is because you add one tablespoon of sake. Then add salt and dash powder. You may add a little soy sauce to taste. Mix well. You can do without the dash powder. Spread diced sweet potatoes or rice. If you spread it out like this, it will cook well. Cook rice in rice cooker as usual. Next, make the first side dish. Fry shredded sweet potatoes in oil. Use any kind of oil you like. Sweet potatoes and oil go great together. I love sweet potatoes fried and tossed in a caramel-like sauce that is called daigaku imo. Today we will make it light and refreshing, not that sweet. I added a little more oil because the amount of sweet potatoes were large. When the sweet potatoes are almost cooked, season them. Put sugar. I have a lot of brown sugar left over at home, so I will use it. Add mirin. And soy sauce. Not too sweet or too salty. This dish allows you to enjoy the original sweetness and goodness of sweet potatoes. The seasoning would also be delicious done with potatoes. Next, let's make the second side dish. I had some shiso left over, so I had to use it. You can do without it or substitute parsley or other greens. Cut tomatoes into small pieces. My husband always said it's better to peel the skin before cooking, but today it's too much tobro, so I just cut it as is. The canned tuna and tomatoes were really good, and I realized I love the combination. Tuna was used after the oil was drained. Put shisa leaves, salty kombu. If not, you could add dash powder and a little salt. Add dry bonito flakes if available. Add sugar, rice vinegar, soy sauce. and sesame oil. This seasoning goes best with tomatoes and tuna. I thought it would be very tasty with pasta. Next up is today's star of the show, a creamy tantan soup with lots of ingredients. Any vegetable will go with it, so add whatever you have left over in your fridge and whatever you like. I put onion, cabbage, carrot, and later, I add beef sprout too. Tofu and pork are added for protein. You can also add beans or chicken. Fried tofu is also recommended. Cut everything into bite-sized pieces. And over the pot, I use sesame oil. Lightly fry onion and carrot. When slightly cooked, add a little oil and fry the pork. Sprinkle a little salt and pepper here.
When the pork is somewhat cooked, add water, add cabbage. This is a sweet potato that could not be added to the rice earlier. Cover and simmer over low heat to cook the vegetable. In the meantime, make the soup base. Put chicken stock powder. I use so shantan. This is my favorite one. Please check my tools and seasonings in the description section. Put sake. Soy sauce. Miso paste. Oyster sauce. Sesame paste. Dobanjan. And sugar. To make a dobanjan substitute, try mixing these together. I forgot to add the garlic and ginger here and added them later. When vegetables are cooked, add the bean sprout and tofu. Bean sprouts are added here because they cook in an instant. Add the sauce you just made. Mix, but be careful not to let the tofu fall apart. Add milk here. I think it will be better to add fresh ginger and garlic, but it was too much trouble, so I used these paste ones. It's all well and mix three. Once the bean sprouts are cooked and the milk is warm, the dish is ready. Milk should not be boiled. I tasted it and added a little salt and pepper. It's a healthy way to get meat, tough and vegetables. The creamy, rich soup is as flavorful as ramen soup. This and white rice alone would already be enough for a set meal. The sweet potato rice also turned out looking really good. The sweet potatoes become soft and seem to fall apart. Mix carefully. Even though there is no sugar in the rice, it has a strong sweetness, making the rice like a dessert. Speaking of sweet potatoes, the topping is black sesame. The soup became even more perfect when I put a boiled egg on top. Top with green onions if desired. If you have rayu chili oil, please pour it on. Highly recommend it. I think this sweet potato side dish would be perfect as a side dish when you usually make meat or fish dishes. This one is also topped with black sesame seeds. This is a tomato tuna salad that you can't stop eating. I like to develop various dishes using sweet potato this fall. How did you like today's recipe? I hope you'll try making it. Thank you so much for watching our video. Please subscribe to our channel. If you are already a subscriber and would like to support our channel, please join our membership. Membership feedback will be reflected in content creation. See you in the next video.